Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to understand how we can trigger a job whenever a new file arrives in the storage account or a volume. So right now, uh, within the Databricks, we have two modes in which we can trigger a workflow, whether it can be a continuous mode or it can be a schedule mode. So you have a work, uh, you have a notebook and you want to execute it at a certain time interval right so that time you can schedule it or you can also put it on a continuous mode where it will continuously run so these are the two modes but right now we have also seen a new mode coming up which is trigger job now this trigger job happens when a new file arrives and it detects that hey a new file has arrived in so and so location and then it automatically triggers your job so this case is very useful uh, in most of the projects so let's go ahead and implement it and see how does it work so basically, you can use file arrival triggers to trigger a run of your Databricks job when a new file arrives in an external location. So whenever there's a new file which comes in an external location, such as Amazon S3, your storage account, or even your Google Cloud Storage, GCS. So in all these locations, if your file is coming in and you want to trigger your workflow based on the file arrival mode, then you can. You can use this feature when a scheduled job might be inefficient because new data arrives on an irregular schedule. Of course, right? You will go ahead, use it whenever, you know, uh, you have a situation where file might come anytime in the moment it comes and you just want to trigger your workflow. So file arrival trigger do not incur any additional cost other than the cloud provider cost associated with listing the files in the storage account. So basically, whenever uh, th this file arrival trigger, how does how will it work is uh, the moment file arrives in a specific location, it is going to list right that it is going to understand that hey the, this is the new file that has come up. So that listing cost, the storage account associated cost for that is associated to the cloud provider for listing the file that is the only cost that you will incur. A file arrival trigger can be configured to monitor the root of the Unity catalog, external location or volume, or a subpath of an external location or volume. For example, basically, what does it mean? Whenever now, right now, we will uh, go ahead, implement it, and you will see when you schedule it, right you will get an option to schedule it on a volume location or an external location in both these two locations if there is a file change you that will help you to trigger the workflow so essentially here first of all you need to make sure that your workspace is unity catalog enabled that is when you can make full utilization of it if you have uc volume then in that case you can give the path of that uc volume so whenever the file arrives in the uc volume then it can go ahead about triggering the new job uh, it, it can go about triggering the workflow or you can also provide a location to the external location to the storage account so both that thing will work now remember that uh, it checks the location recursively so if you have given the location of a folder so if there are multiple subfolders with the, within that folder then workflow is going to detect the change made to any of the folder it is going to make it is going to detect the change made to any of the folders. So, for example, if you see this volume, right, my directory, if you have given the path of my directory and this my directory has multiple subdirectory, subdirectory A, B and C. So even if change is made to subdirectory D, which is present inside subdirectory C, then also the workflow will trigger. So it is going and checking everything recursively. That's another point to note. Uh, and also remember that there are a few limitations associated to it is that if you overwrite a file with the same name, it doesn't work. The file has to be a new file with a different name, then only it is going to detect that, hey, this file has changed. And a maximum of 50 jobs can be configured while a file arrival trigger, with a, with a file arrival trigger in a Databricks workspace. The path used for the file arrival trigger must not contain any external table or managed location, right? That is pretty much obvious that if you have already given uh, a file arrival trigger location right if you if you want to scan that location every time for the new file it should not contain any other external table or managed location that is uh, pretty obvious and the path cannot have any kind of wild cards 
So these are the few limitations as well. So let's go ahead and see exactly how this does this work. So we what we will do is we'll create a volume first. So I am inside my catalog. Okay, under my default schema. So let me simply click on create and let me say create a volume. So let me say volume, right? Now you can create a managed volume or external volume. The only difference is in the external volume, you're going to give the storage account, right? Otherwise, you can select the managed volume as well. Uh, it's completely up to you. So let's click on managed volume. Now, the moment I click on that, you can see this volume is created. And at the same time, uh, let me show you if I go to the workspace. I have created one job that would be triggered, right? So if you see this file arrival, uh, file arrival triggered job. So this can be any of your job where you want to use the data. You want to perform specific operations. So right now I'm using an exit notebook command because I want to show you how does it work. So as the file arrives in the volume, it should trigger the workflow. So this is the job that I have. This is the notebook that I have. Now, if I go to the workflows and I click on create job and let me say my new job name is. Trigger. Workflow job, right? Trigger, trigger workflow job. Now uh, let me say the task name. Let me in say trigger task and then type. If I click on the type, it's a notebook. And then if I click on the path to the notebook, this is the notebook that I want to trigger. Let me confirm it and then compute is serverless. Now let me simply click on create task. So the task is created right now. What I need to do is I need to go to the right side schedule and trigger. Click me click add trigger. So now you can see there are three types of trigger now file arrival schedule and continuous continuous and schedule are pretty common. We have been using it now if I click on the file arrival which we are checking right now. So you can also see active and paused option over there for the trigger. You can see here storage location volume my catalog my schema and it is, it is asking you to either give the storage location or give the uh, storage account path. OK, so now what I'll do is I'll go to my volume. This is my volume location. I'll simply copy this and let me paste this right. So this is the location of my volume where I am trying to check. So this is advanced section minimum time between triggers and seconds. So it basically it is just trying asking you what is the minimum amount of time that it want that you want this workflow to go and check whether the file has come or not. OK, so if you want, you can uh, do that. Let me simply click on test trigger and save. Now you can see this workflow is ready. Let me simply click on the workflow. So this is the workflow. Let me just refresh as well. So workflow has not run at all, right? It's a you can see the recent runs. Now if I go to the volume over here. And I say upload to this volume. Let me browse and I can simply you can see there's one file that I have. I will click click open and simply click on upload. So you can see uploading one file and it has uploaded a CSV file. So export.csv now is part of the volume over here, right? So let me just refresh it to refresh everything. So if you see what has happened here, I have added a file to the volume in the similar way. I can put it in the storage account as well. But right now, since everything is UC enabled, so mostly we would be using volume itself. Uh, for all our tasks, we should be using volume itself rather than directly uh, using the storage account. And now if you click, if you click on this workflow jobs, let me click on refresh. So it is actually going to go. We, we, now this workflow should be triggered, right? So now you can see that it is saying file arrival. Uh, no run triggered by 6, 6 p.m. because it did not see any file coming in that location and you can see the volume. Right. So every one minute. So we just have to wait for a minute because it is by default what it is doing. It is checking every minute. OK, so now you can see what has happened is it has automatically started the run. So you can see the run status pending. So by default it has started the run and it is an automatic trigger and you can see that this has started running. So my workflow has started running because I added a file. Now, if I click on the trigger job workflow, we will see how it has started the run. So you can see it has automatically started the run. If I click on the job which has run, so you can see that it has started running the dbutils.notebook.exit command and it has succeeded it. So now if I go back, 
to the job so this is how my job has actually run so now let me do one thing let me go and rename the file that i have right so let me rename the file as test2 okay and then if i go back and to my volume and i again upload the file to the volume because i already told you same file name does not work right if you have already uploaded a file and you want to overwrite it with the same name or uh, you know the same file because it checks the file name so right now i'm changing the file name and uploading it now the moment i upload it again it should detect the new file that it has come the test2.csv and it should again trigger this job within a minute of interval right so i'll just wait for a few more seconds and you will see that it has actually started the run so now you can see it has started another run because it has seen another file so let me simply click on that and you will see the launch also by file arrival now due to the file arrival it has started a new run so this is how exactly the file arrival uh, you know trigger works in the databricks i hope you like this particular video you understood it you can use it as well in your uh, you know own um, jobs let me just pause this trigger for myself but thank you so much for being till here do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel